Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here? Well, what we have here, we can write this as x squared over 100 can be written as 10 times 10, which is 10 squared, then equals to also here we have 10 squared over x squared. The next step here, we cross multiply as this x squared times x squared here. Yeah? Then equals to also here we have 10 squared times 10 squared. Then here when we have same thing multiplying a times a can write that as a squared. That is yeah, same thing multiplying. You write this as a square or square. Then equals to also here we have 10 square or square. Then this follows when we have a square minus. Before then, you can take the right hand side to the left hand side. And we have x square or square, then minus 10 square or square, then equals to 0 here. That is when we have a square minus b square, which can be written as a plus b into bracket, open bracket a minus b. That is, yeah, a standing as x square and b standing as 10 square. Then what we have here becomes x square plus 10 square. Close bracket, also open bracket, x square minus 10 square, close bracket, and equals to 0 here. This here we have two possible cases. First one, x squared plus 10 squared equals to 0. Or we have x squared minus 10 squared equals to 0 here. Then, solving on this side, this follows when we have a squared plus b squared, which can be written as a plus bi into bracket. Also, open bracket a minus bi. This year, what we have becomes x plus 10i into brackets, also open brackets x minus 10i plus brackets and equals to 0 here. At this year, also we have two possible cases x plus 10i equals to 0, or we have x minus 10i equals to 0 here. Solving on this side, this gives us x equals to minus 10i which is a complex solution here and also here we have x equals to 10i which is also a complex solution here making two complex solutions from here then so from the second case here x square minus 10 square equals to zero this also follows well, we have a square minus b square, which is the same thing as a plus b into brackets, open brackets a minus b. And this here, this becomes x plus 10 into brackets, the open brackets x minus 10 equals to 0 here. Also, we have two possible cases x plus 10 equals to 0, or we have x minus 10 equal to 0 here. And so we here, this gives us x equals to minus 10, which is a real solution here. Also here we have x equals to 10, which is also a real solution here. At this, we have two real solutions and two complex solutions, here, making four solutions together. Then let's try it out. One after the other, that is, yeah, we can say x1, the first solution x1 equals to 10, then x2 equals to minus 10, x3 equals to 10i, and x4 equals to minus 10i. So we have these four solutions here, two real and two complex 
solutions. Now let's check if this satisfies this given problem. That is, substitute the value of x here. When x equals to 10, this equation becomes 10 square over 100. Is this equals to 100 over 10 square? That is, 10 square, that's 10 times 10, which is 100 over 100. Is it equals to 100 over 10 square, which is also 100? And here, 100 over 100 is 1, which is equals to also 1 here. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. That is, s equals to 10. That's why it's giving problem. Also, we substitute minus 10. Then, what we have becomes minus 10 all squared over 100 is it equals to 100 over minus 10 or squared a minus 10 squared the minus when it is square become plus and 10 squared as 100 over also 100 is it equals to also 100 over here we have 100 of course 100 over 101 also here we have one left hand side equals to the right hand side that is minus 10 as well satisfy this given problem then substitute 10 high into the equation and what we have becomes 10 high all square over 100 is it equals to 100 over 10 high all squared and when we square this the square will affect 10 we have 10 squared 10 times also high that's i squared over 100 is it equals to also here we have 100 over this also becomes 10 squared times i squared that is here 10 squared that's 100 times i squared same thing as minus 1 that is times minus 1 over 100 is it equals to also here we have 100 over 10 square 100 times i square minus 1 that is yeah 100 cancels each other we have minus 1 is it equals to also 100 cancels each other we have 1 over minus 1 then here is minus 1 which is equals to 1 over minus 1 also minus 1 left hand side equals to the right hand side that is then R also satisfy this given problem. Then also substitute minus 10 high to the given problem here. Then this equation become minus 10 i all square over 100. Is it equals to 100 over minus 10 i all square? Then when we square minus down to plus, when we square 10, that's 100 times i square minus 1 over 100. Is it equals to 100 over also 100 times minus 1? This cancel each other. We have minus 1. Is it equals to? This also cancel each other. 1 over minus 1. This minus 1 here, which is equals to 1 over minus 1. Also minus one left hand side equals to right hand side, and therefore we conclude that minus ten high also satisfies this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget this step. Subscribe for more videos. Turn the notification bell on. Share this video. Put your comment. And see you in next class. Bye for now.